Hello everybody out there on the internet, this is Andrew Salas back to you with another great small business tech tip from smallbusinesstechtips.com and today we're going to talk about multiple instances of Outlook uh, with uh, one product and uh, uh, just a more elegant solution for the other one. Uh, so I'm just going to bring up my Windows XP virtual machine here on my Windows 7 machine uh, that we created uh, previously on a different post and uh, there's a number of different reasons why somebody would have the need to have multiple exchange accounts open at one time maybe their company is merging to a different domain and uh, during that brief period you have two different email addresses uh, and two different exchange um, servers to connect into so uh, or somebody acquired your company or it's just for testing purposes but there's a uh, there's definitely a need for it because uh, somebody has developed some tools to help us out with that but uh, Windows offers a kind of unelegant solution. If we go into our mail, uh, they like to house everything in profiles. So if you have 2003 Office and or 2007 Office uh, so for your Outlook, uh, you're, you would be relegated to kind of uh, working with these profiles. So uh, you could say prompt here for profiles if you have your work one and work two. And then once we launch our Outlook client, it's going to tell us what do you want to open with work one or work two then we'd go into our you know one account we'd manipulate our emails in there uh, and then when we needed to access our other one we would open up our second one so we would open up our outlook we would do the work two so uh, once you have that up you would manipulate your emails and uh, that's kind of how it's not a lot of give and take between those two so uh, there is this tool that's been out there uh, from uh, it looks like it's in Ham Hero of the Gods or however you pronounce that, but let's go ahead and copy that and go into, and I will include this link in the description and everything in here. So let's go ahead and paste that into one of our browsers in our Windows XP. Looks like it, it's a zip file, so we could just save that to our desktop. Open it up and extract that file. Now what we want to do is create this uh, kind of code to uh, launch it here and uh, that's going to get us to run our second Outlook uh, kind of uh, profile here. So I will go ahead and open my first one. Let's say we'll always use work one to, so I don't want it to prompt us anymore. So let's say always use work one. So when I open my Outlook now, it's not even going to ask me, it's just going to open up straight into my uh, work one here. And you can see that here, mailbox is called work one. So uh, we'll just have that open and then we'll start to create this. Uh, looks like uh, you have your app path of this thing that we just downloaded. You want to find your uh, Outlook full path and then the name of your profile. So let's go ahead and put this file in the shortest distance it could be, as in the C drive. So we could already have that here. Now let's find our. Uh, Outlook program. So let's go to programs and we'll go into what's the next one that it asks us to go into right here. It says Microsoft Office and then it should be in this is where the difference would be. Uh, so um, it would say Office 11 uh, for 2003. Looks like mine says Office 12 because it's 2007 in here and then we'll just find and make sure that our Outlook is in here and there we have our Outlook EXE so let's go ahead and put together that path so it's in Microsoft and you could just copy that out of here too so you have your C program files you have your Outlook go ahead and just paste that in there and then we have our uh, profile name that we want to do uh, so that's where you would grab it where we were in our mail client where we're viewing our profiles <clears throat> and this one is work too so we'll just type that in here work two. okay so now we have our path here and uh, what I'm just gonna do is just copy it straight into a notepad here copy it from there to get rid of the extra formatting because we don't want this uh, you know the coloring or anything like that to be copied over or any spaces or anything like that uh, we want it to be exactly like this and I will post that uh, on the description as well because uh, syntax is important so uh, we have our other outlook open up here this is our work one 
and if we just paste this in here to a, a run command, we should open up and we have our second outlook. So uh, we can manipulate our emails uh, just by toggling from one to the other, uh, depending on uh, depending on you know how you handle your windows. If it's like a you know Alt Tab or you want to minimize them yourself, but we have our Work One emails here and our Work Two emails right here. And uh, nobody wants to kind of run this run command all the time. So what I do is I'll create a shortcut. And uh, what you could do is just uh, start on clicking anywhere. We want to create a new shortcut and uh, take that same path that's in our uh, clipboard here, paste it into a shortcut, and uh, we'll just type it as, uh, you know, work uh, two. Here, this will be our work email two. So we have that. Doesn't look too good, but you could go in here and uh, change the icon to something else, uh, you know, some type of world or email icon. Now you have this nice email icon here, and with that shortcut there, your original email, when you open that, that's still going to be your work one, and uh, you can launch this one as your extra outlook, and you have a nice, clean way to manipulate through your exchange uh, boxes. And uh, that's really nice for uh, the Outlook 2003 and 2007. It's really uh, uh, not super glitchy, but it is a third-party software, so... Uh, there are some differences with it. Now with Outlook 2010, it's a completely different story. And uh, uh, you could just add, and they've enabled it, so you could add as many uh, exchange accounts in your in your uh, box as possible. So as you can see here, in my 2010, I have uh, multiple email accounts here and that you could just add them like normal. Uh, it's not going to be re restricted and normally when you add a secondary mailbox it just doesn't show the exchange and in Outlook 2010 it's completely different. Uh, it just keeps on showing as many exchanges as possible. So contacts, calendars, uh, you have uh, your global address list of both of them, all your journals. Uh, it's, it's really, really nice and uh, it's one of the reasons why you keep up to date software, right? I hope this was informative, and uh, if you have any questions, definitely just go ahead and comment on it or suggestions. Have a great day.